A heavy winter storm that ran through the northern plains this week and was moving into the mid-Atlantic on Wednesday has impacted roads and airports across the United States, disrupting the year's busiest travel period as Americans return home from Christmas trips. The blizzard-fueled weather brought forth heavy winds, snow and ice on Monday and Tuesday, when parts of Nebraska, South Dakota, Kansas, Colorado and Wyoming faced the worst of the storm. Whiteout conditions throughout these areas reduced visibility, which led to traffic and airline disturbances. Rains from the storm's aftermath were expected to reach Washington, D.C., on Wednesday and farther northeast by late evening. Flood advisories and warnings were in place across New York, Massachusetts and Maryland, according to the National Weather Service. On Tuesday, the day after Christmas, more than 7,500 flights within, into or out of the United States were delayed, according to tracking statistics from FlightAware. The Federal Aviation Administration told The Washington Post that only 4.6% of total flights were delayed Tuesday, mostly due to weather. The FAA also cited high passenger volume in the East Coast and popular ski areas. Denver International Airport, a major hub for Southwest Airlines, had 48% of departing flights delayed but only 1% of departing flights cancelled. Nearly 800 flights scheduled to leave or arrive in Denver were delayed Tuesday. There were also more than 500 total delays in both Charlotte and Orlando that day. In Denver, FlightAware data shows Southwest accounted for 49% of the airport's delays Tuesday, amounting to 302 flights. United Airlines ran behind with 223 delays, and SkyWest had 116 delays. Delays across airlines Wednesday afternoon appeared similar to the previous day. Between 10 a.m. and 2 p.m. Tuesday, there were 685 delays reported by FlightAware. Over the same span on Wednesday, there were 602 delays. Shortly after 4.15 p.m. Wednesday, Orlando led domestic airports in total delays, 380. According to an FAA spokesperson, fog and low-hanging clouds contributed to delays at Florida's busiest airport hub, as well as Palm Beach, Naples and Tampa. In addition to weather concerns, two major airlines faced an additional challenge Wednesday, roads blocked by pro-Palestinian protests. According to Stephen Burns, a spokesman for the Port Authority of New York and New Jersey, Police made 26 arrests for disorderly conduct and impeding vehicular traffic on the Van Wyck Expressway inside John F. Kennedy International Airport. The roadway was reopened 20 minutes after police were alerted to the protests, Burns said in a statement, and the Port Authority used two airport buses to transport travelers who were impeded by the protests over the Israel-Gaza war. Similar protests took place at Los Angeles International Airport on Wednesday.